And welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, developer commentary. I'm Tony Garcia. And I am Mike Stout. And we are about to embark on the greatest level in Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Award-winning Planet Grelvin. I have been looking forward to this level. I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to this level. Uh, mainly because I've been suffering so much at all of the shit that I've done. This is not shitty. That I can't wait for you to play. This level is this not level. shitty. I don't know what is... Like I said, I won awards for this level. <laughs> you won awards, which are given to the shittiest no, thing in the game. No, so, uh... Have we, have we talked about the Snow We Beast have Award? not talked about I was waiting until we got to the level to talk about the Snow Beast Award. Uh, I'm going to go down this way first. Into the factory. All right. And, this uh, is a factory because it's all indoors. What is this? What is that guy? Oh, Hypnomatic. i got to go to the other level before. Oh. So we're going to have to do a return to this level. But we're here because I'm here. And we're going to do the Snow Beast section, which was my thing. Yes. And... Do you want to talk about what the Snow Beast Award is, or, or uh, how do you want to handle it? Yeah, let's. So, uh, it's there's a long history on this level, and uh, what ended up happening invariably on this level is that whenever we would get somebody new who worked at Insomniac, they would invariably go back and play Ration Clank on Commando, and I would always know when they got to this level when they were playing through Ration Clank on Commando because they would come into work angry. <laughs> <laughs> and they would be like, who the hell is responsible for those goddamn snow beasts? And I would have to say, well, it was me. I did those goddamn snow beasts. But nobody ever missed an opportunity to let me know that they had gotten to this level and were very unhappy with it. <laughs> um, what, uh, so, uh, so they, they, they hated the Snow Beast, they hated the level, but uh, why don't we, before we get into what the Snow Beast Award was, why don't we talk a little about the constraints you were under when you developed it? Well, so here's what it comes down to, and this is the explanation I give to people. That guy died so easy, why would anybody complain about that? You see how quickly I killed that guy? I'm a ninja here, nobody's attacking me. So what happened was, we were doing this level, and... Um, there were things that came up during the development of this level, and the person who was originally scheduled to do this uh, this planet wasn't able to complete it uh, for various reasons. And so they said, hey, let's find somebody who doesn't have enough work. Tony doesn't have enough work. <laughs> Tony's only doing like a third of the levels in this game. Tony needs more things to do. And uh, they said... Well, we're, we got to give this level to somebody to take care of it and finish it because we can't cut the level. That's just straight uh, impossible. Because it was too late at that it's point. far too late. I like the sound that those guys are making, by the way. That's a good sound. Um, and uh, just so you guys know out there, Tony's being humble. They gave it to Tony because uh, they knew somebody had to code these things in three days. Yeah, and that and they needed somebody who could code something reasonable in three days. So that was the deal. It, we, basically, it was three days until this level was due. Man, these guys really are everywhere. Because we, <laughs> we had to do a focus test at this level. Uh, right. Oh, my God. I love this guy. That Go guy is so rad. Oh, wait. What's, where's the sounds? Oh, he's not playing sounds. Why is he not playing sounds? Because you did your job wrong. He had good sounds. Uh, maybe just this guy. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, you want to see a bug that's still in the game? Nope. You really don't? Nope. Okay. Well, hopefully you'll do You can tell accident. me about it. Uh, if you go into the quick select while he's firing his beam, the beam doesn't stop. Oh, that's the beam, cool. The particles continue that's to That's totally my fault then, yeah. Just do it one time so we can see. It's pretty cool. The whole screen turns white and... You could probably kill an epileptic. So, um, so yeah, we had three days to get this level done. And um, they basically said, well, he, the level's sort of been already worked on. Just finish it. But me being me, I was like, well, I'm not going to work with somebody else's stuff. I'm going to delete it all and start from scratch. Because it would save you time. It would be easier for me to just start from scratch as, stu as ridiculous as that may sound, it was easier for me to just start, start from scratch and, you know, 
begin from, from nothing. And it was basically three days to put this level together. This huge level. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going With on. With all brand new enemies. Damn you, Snowbees. So, uh, I, I think I can tell you why people find the Snowbees frustrating. Because they're everywhere? Well, because they're everywhere, but, but also, um, their pre-attack animation is too short. Oh, I uh, see. They're, they're actually not meeting the minimum duration for a pre-attack animation. Uh, so what this means, so whenever uh, whenever an enemy is going to attack you, especially a melee enemy, they have to rear back, wait a second, and then come in and hit you. And the reason they do that is because uh, when they pull their arm back, they're asking you a question. They're saying, what are you going to do in response to the fact that I am going to attack you? And then it gives you some time to, to react to it, right? See, he's got sense. Doesn't he? No, his sounds aren't playing. Oh. Anyway, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, isn't that cool? It just keeps getting bigger and bigger forever. Uh, but God the, damn! Yeah, but their their pre attack is about a quarter of a second long, and our normal pre attack length was about a second. So the fact that they're everywhere, they also can come up behind you because they're everywhere, and they have no appreciable pre attack animation. The it would kind of make them feel like they're cheap. But they're not cheap. It's not. I'm not saying they are cheap. They're pretty brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that uh, they would. Ah, ah! Yeah, that's death water, dude. That's death water. How many crystals do you need? Nine. Nine. Okay. I'll be out here pretty quick. I'm just having a great time. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, yeah, so that the snow beasts were what they were, uh, but uh, on on subsequent games. Uh, people decided that they needed to let Tony know. Well, I just want to say one quick thing before we move on. Uh, for everybody that has any complaints about this level, I'd like to see you do better in three days. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Bravo, sir. That's right. Just code a game level in three days that's better yeah. than this. Yeah, and, and, then, and, let, and, and then, you'll have, then we'll be able to complain. Let me see your three-day level, and then we'll see what i got to say about that. That's what, I, that's what I have to say. Look at that. Tony's calling people out. You know what? We should we should have a contest. <laughs> send in send in a level that you made in three You know days. what I'm going to do? I'll, I'm going to build an engine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll build a, a, an engine sort of similar to Ratchet and Clank, where you can just create a Moby and make them move around pretty easily. I'll give you all the tools that you need to make a level, and then you get three days to make one. And it's got to be fun. And it's got to be big. And it's got to be at least this good. It's it, Yeah, it, this good or better. Otherwise, shut up. I love that particle. The it is a good particle. particle yeah. I love that. I love that guy. He's a great guy. I think he's a great. It turned out really well. Really well designed enemy, uh, art wise. So Tony, uh, one one common complaint I see on the internet about this level is uh, that there is one crystal that is impossible to get. Nope. <laughs> Again, this goes back to similar to the skill point that went on uh, on Joba. I get it. No, not Joba. Whatever the Fireflies level was. Yeah, it was Joba. Um, yeah, I got tons of bugs on it. It's always just, you know, I've tested a billion times. I don't believe it. So it's not necessarily that it doesn't happen, it's that you don't believe it happens. I don't believe it happens. I've tested it so many times. Uh, I'm about to upgrade this bouncer, though. There we go. Oh, the bouncer gets great when it upgrades, doesn't it? It does. Dude, the snow beasts are so savage. You guys are everywhere. So let's so let's get on to the Snow Beast Award, which is what we've been lead, building up to this entire time. Yes, we've been teasing everybody. So everybody would constantly join the company, and every time somebody joined, they would get mad at me and call me out on the uh, on the Snow Beast. What's up? Keep going. Um, oh, it's using. Sorry, it's spiking. No. Oh, uh, anyway, okay. So people would join. The people people would join the company and constantly call me out, and uh, you know it was kind of funny for a little while. But it's also kind of annoying when somebody's always calling you out. <laughs> and so I think Nathan started. Nathan right? Fouts, mommy's best games. Yes. Creator, Nathan Fouts. Creator Fouts. of Shoot One Up and various other brilliant, awesome brilliant games. man. Probably yes. one of the fa my favorite people I've ever met in game development. One of the nicest guys. Great guy, hands down. Um, he thought it was hilarious that everybody was calling me out and giving you tons of shit. And he, days. and he, and um. Again, not to brag, but I heard it enough times that it, it, it ceased being uh, hurtful that people didn't like this level. Is this a humble brag? Yeah, it okay. is. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Did we crash? We crashed! <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Okay. Um. All right. Oh my god. I thought we would get through this without any crashes. And it crashed in my level. Oh, you must feel terrible, dude. I'm more shocked than anything. <laughs> so while this boots up, we'll continue to talk about... Wow, that was that's bizarre. That wasn't a hard crash. When we hard crash, everything stops. But the music was playing, so something right. went really wrong. <laughs> with, with maybe one of the Mobies there. Maybe one of the Snowbies, because there's a billion of them. Or, uh, like, one of them fell out of the level or something? Maybe. I don't know if that would crash the game that way. Lots of stuff. To Maybe it was sitting and spinning. Remember sitting and yeah, spinning? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's possible. Uh, we had the, the most common crash in the entire engine was the sit and spin. And what that meant was time to go get Al. Yeah. Because uh, they, at some point, the, the engine would just start spitting out sit and spin, sit and spin. And you just go, oh. And then you would go get Al, and Al would come over and work some fucking magic, and then it would work. Right. Uh, and it, I, I, mean, I never understood why it was sitting and spinning. It was just something that had to do with Al. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't even remember exactly what it was. It was way above my IQ level. God, sure. I'm going to have to go get all those crystals again. I had seven. I had seven crystals. Um, if you hit a save point at some point, though, you might stop. Maybe when I died. Oh, man. I can't believe that happened. Violence. Well, that's embarrassing. So, Planet Grelvin. <laughs> I can't believe that happened, man. That is wild. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we were talking about Nathan when it crashed. And it, what a great guy he was. So he thought it was funny that everybody hated the Snow Beast and that I had gotten tired of everybody hating the Snow Beast. <laughs> and so he went, he, I don't know how he did this. I, the, the only explanation is that he's monstrously talented. But he went to the artist and requested, and we were this was well into development of Ratchet and Clank, going Commando. I think we were we had already finished Ratchet and Clank three. Yeah, yeah, because we, we it, we it, it established the rule of how the Snow Beast Award got uh, got given. But he went to the artists and found a uh, and and asked and requested the the original model for the Snow Beast, took it home, and sculpted an award. Just on his own. Yeah, yeah. He sculpted a snow beast on a plaque, and uh, uh, the, he he gave it to Tony. And, That's right. And then set the rules from then on about how the snow beast. It award was the was snow created. beast award, and I had won the inaugural snow beast award for creating the worst thing that had actually shipped in the game. Right. And that is what the award was given for for the person who had the dubious honor. Of actually shipping the worst feature in the game, and uh, and the award could only be given out after we had shipped the next game, right? So that it wouldn't hurt your feelings. Exactly. You ha you needed time to, you know, get over the fact that you did something horrible, <laughs> just so that you, uh, you know, so it wasn't like an insult. It was actually kind of a badge of honor. Right. Exactly. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that that the award, for all I know, is still being passed around. I thought it was great. I yeah. thought it was it was hilarious, and I thought it was you know, I really loved having that award. I I, I honestly took it as a bit of an honor because now, he had put so much time and effort into that thing, and it was amazing. Now this this uh, this might be tipping our hat for the next game, but uh, did w did you prize that above the cases of beer that Ted gave you? <sighs> you know what? That's that's a difficult question. I treasured them both for different reasons. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? I think we should deliberately not say what the beers are <laughs> and hold that off for when we do Ratchet 3. Fair enough. Uh, and the first time we come across a Rampage crate. But yeah, I, I, I love the Snow Beast Award. And you know what? That's a big reason why I don't mind so much that people complain about the level. Because it ended up providing some pretty hilarious moments around the office and just being it, it became a joke 